Isaiah 58, 6 to 11 t basically tells you treat the people that don't have with respect. Do not talk down to your downtrodden. Do not be malicious to the people that are oppressed in your country. And if you do, there will be light at the end of the darkness. I know a lot of you not, some of you might not be biblical, but I want you to understand that how relevant that statement is and why that's important to why I'm about to explain is important. Welcome to your favorite way to start your week with your new friend, the Alpha himself, Zell May, and What's New 99. That was kind of a hard intro, dude, and it's been a hard video to make. This is supposed to be out every Monday morning. This podcast will be out every Monday morning, and I probably usually have a guest, but today is special, and I probably need to get this point off. The 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 title of this podcast is Why, and it's a why of a lot of things. The world is going insane outside. We have corona, we have riots, we have protest. We have a bunch of stuff going on. And the reason why for the riots and protests is the man named George Floyd. He, he died in the most sadistic way I think I've ever seen live on TV. He had a knee on his neck. And he pleaded for minutes. He called for his mama. He lost bodily fluids. He pleaded for help. While other police officers were keeping people from even attempting to help him. And it was videotaped and shown. All over a bad check. This man passed out, laid dead. And it was basically a metaphor for how black people have felt for years. For 400 years, black people have felt a knee. The proverbial knee on the neck asking for help asking for someone to help them asking for everything you know what I mean it's hard to describe it's like for 400 years you were enslaved and then you get freedom and you're happy and you have black wall street and you have successes and you get the most senators ever and all this stuff happened and then they implement Jim Crow. <laughs> they burned down Black Wall Street. So now we back where we started. And everybody talking about Jim Crow. That was a long time. My, let, 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 me, let me put this in perspective. My daddy was a sharecropper. I am, I am the first generation of my family not a sharecropper. I want you to understand that. I am the first generation not a sharecropper. My daddy was a sharecropper. My uncle was a sharecropper. My grandpa was a sharecropper. They lived under Jim Crow. I want you. That's how long it's been. I am the first generation not under Jim Crow. My sister has colored on her birth certificate. If you knew what that meant, man, that was a politically correct way in there in the civil rights movement to educate yourself on it. But for years, it's been this animosity. It's been this thing where we live two different lives even in cities where it's blended it's kind of segregated like you see most of the black people in this building and in the south is completely segregated you got black neighborhoods you got white neighborhoods even in new york you got like this building is for like most of the black people you got some white people and everything but you work together you live together but and it's the same in the south too you work together blah blah, blah but you go to the black neighborhood they go to their neighborhood then you get this thing called gentrification where they take the neighborhood and all the black people can't afford to live in the neighborhood and then they go and live in a worse neighborhood with bad things, gotta go further to work. The jobs are further away because the jobs want to stay close to that neighborhood and not your neighborhood. And then, of course, people bring up crime rate. Of course, the whoever you close by, you're going to commit crimes to. The more you're poor, you're going to commit poor, commits crime to poor. That's going that That's for a later on statement. But that is ultimately the reason why this man died. And it was so tragic that the whole world is now protesting Black Lives Matter. Don't you understand that? 
That's why we are here. This is a documentation of why in honor of George Floyd. And I, it was kind of tough to make this video. It's been hard to make this video. Because I, I, I try to figure out a way just to make it about George Floyd and his memory and why. And a documentation on why all this happened and why that name, George Floyd, is so important. And I, and I try to get emotional because I get angry or I get real sad. And first of last week, I was angry. And then the, this weekend, I was sad. And you know what I mean? Like, and then I'm angry and sad. So I had to, so I, it was hard to make this video. It's hard to make this podcast. I want to guess with me, but then I realized guess with just like conversation might not need to be had it per se. And that's why for, and this video is made for Young people who don't understand, this is a documentation. This video is made for the future reference because it needs to be made. And who what? And this is made for the clueless who wants to be. No. After this video, if you don't understand, if you still don't understand why, you probably turned your mind off to it. And you probably really understand. I, understand, I want you to understand this. You probably don't love people like me. Just just gonna be cut this off and then I, I take it i don't know man it's because it's hard for me to say because it's hard to say you love me and don't empathize with me you know what i mean because let's go why certain statements are wrong i love all people why i gotta be like that if you love me you can empathize with me right if 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 i loved you and you love me right we can empathize right you wouldn't just let me go out if you truly love someone and they're sad, you wouldn't just sit there and be like, oh, and go about your day. I don't want to be sad. You know what I mean? If you love someone, you'll find out why they're sad, right? Am I wrong? <sighs> like, am I wrong? If someone was sad, would you not go and ask them why they're sad? Or would you for years ignore them and then they feel unloved? That's a scenario again is happening. Why? Let's, let's discuss black lives matter versus all lives matter. Why? Okay, why is that offense? If I told you I was depressed and you told me, shut up, everybody's sad, I would be offended. I would be hurt. And you repeatedly tell me every time. You are basically, in, when I am in a struggle, when I am in pain, you tell me, as a person who said he's my friend, that shut up, we all in pain. That's what it is. If I if I got my leg shot, and you, and you get in the car and I ask for your help, and there's a whole bunch of you, and I ask you for help to get in the car and take me to the hospital, and you tell me my back hurt, we all in pain, and just continue to go on. You, I'm not saying you don't have a backache, but I got shot in the leg. I am bleeding out. You might your back might be hurting, but a good human being would do what would pick me up and put me in the car. <laughs> After a while, we'll we'll all stop. That's what that what uh, that's what black people feel like. All lives matter mean when you come in under black lives matter. By the way, Amish people used all lives matter too, but they included black lives matter. They made sure they emphasized that that's important right now. All lives do matter, but this important. It's, and everybody everybody agree with it. <laughs> that's why. That's why all lives matter is offensive to black lives matter because. At the, at the end of the day, if I tell you I'm hurting and you say, shut up, we are hurting, I feel ignored. The voice of the unheard. Another why, okay. Martin Luther King quotes, okay. Martin Luther King did indeed say that rise usually doesn't end well and serves no purpose. He did say that. Let's completely be clear. He did say that. But at the same time, he said, riots are the voice of the unheard. Why did he say that? Because once you're unheard, you're going to riot. If they don't give you attention, you got to get attention. That's <laughs> the, the entire world knows now. There are Black Lives Matter protests that's doubling today. London yesterday, Spain, Tokyo, Japan, Hong Kong. There are protests everywhere in the world. It's been noticed. The whole world notices. I saw witches, Amish people. I saw freaking Batman and the Joker. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. I saw him out there marching. I don't know who's. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why. Uh, you if you see Hong Kong, 
on Black Lives Matter side, if you see Tokyo on Black Lives Matter, if you see other countries on Black Lives Matter, you see every corporation in the world, even ones that were burned down on Black Lives Matter side. That's telling you why it's important. Yes, all that do matter. But can we focus on the one issue that we've been focused on forever? Can we please focus on one issue we've been focused on forever? Yes, they're black on black crime. Yes, I have a problem with it. But yes, most of them go to jail. That's why the jail is mostly black people. And by the way, a lot of that is skewed in certain ways because certain arrests be happening certain ways and a certain charge, how they get charged in certain neighborhoods are, are influx compared to other for the same crime. But we're not, that's not, that's not, I just want to get that out there. But that's not part of that. That's not part of this video right now. The, the thing is, when you continuously say black, all that matter, but you see like you're antagonizing black people. If you don't care, if you don't, if you don't care and you don't even like black people, this doesn't matter. This does not matter to you at all because you don't like black people. But if you empathize with black people in any way, you, I want you to understand that's the pain that you see right now. That's the, that's the, that's the emphasis. When you see a knee on a on that man's neck, like I said, it's the metaphorical release of four hundred years over and over again. I want I, I, this is what I'm trying to get. That's what I'm trying to get to you. And you be like, how does that have to do with today? It has to do with today because still, the ghetto. <laughs> it went from slavery to Jim Hood to the ghetto and prisons. If you don't have, you still. When you don't have work in your neighborhood, you take. Because if I had to drive 30 miles to a job, which I which I have almost every job, I had to drive 30 miles every job. I had a car. A lot of people here don't have a car. They can't get a job to get a car. Therefore, they're in the trouble. Therefore, they sell drugs to get a car. Therefore, drugs are sometimes easier money. Therefore, I keep selling drugs. Therefore, I join a gang so we can get a group together. That's that's why. I want you to understand this. That's why all that matters are physical. I just want you to understand that too. That's why. Don't diminish. This is, Okay, this is a summary of that part. Don't diminish what I'm fighting for. <laughs> to try to add yourself to it and try to make a broader point because this means you basically like skipping over my point the thing is also okay let's go to the next one let's go to the next one why why riot in loop again i said this previously already in the other statements i'm gonna just keep this one short why riot in loop when the Kaepernick took a knee they called him a pizza and a bunch of bad names because he protested in a way they didn't like. And it feels like you're telling people to protest why I don't have to deal with your protest and life could go on as normal. Your comfortability, your comfortability is an issue. Let's go biblical for a second. I'm at, No, I'm going to add that part. I'm going to add this part at the beginning. I'm going to redo this and add that part at the beginning. Let's talk about comfortability for a minute. This is going to be at the beginning of this thing. This is what this came in at. This is comfortability. Comfortability over what's right. You A lot of y'all are comfortable in your religion, but don't practice what God said. That's the real thing. You know what I'm saying? Be wary of those who, when you're hungry, you go to that door and they don't give you food, but they say they pray for you. Be wary of those type of people. That's what the Bible says. The riot is happening because we saw a man die. And people are angry. People are sad. They're grieving. They're angry. They're tired of seeing it every time. They see you. I see your statistics. More white males have been killed by a police officer than black. But it's only like 20, 30, 40, 50 difference when the population is 60%. Versus thirteen percent. That means you will see a lot less black people than you will white people. You say prison more filled with black people. Again, I've said it again systematically. Poor people will always black people and Hispanic people are generally more poorer 
then white people therefore more crime will because if you look at who commits the most crime in white America is poor people again you know I'm saying percentage wide blah blah it's a whole thing on that but that's why being mistreated okay let me give you a little bit of the black experience I was more comfortable in shootouts at Taco Bell that had nothing to do with I was just trying to order a burrito dude came in and started shooting they did it again the next day I went back to Taco Bell they did it again I hate Taco we went back again saw the police and like no we going home we were more comfortable in a shootout by the way none of us are in gangs none of us are gang related I've never committed a crime never committed a crime anyway, I even took gum as a kid and I went and returned it because it hurt my country so bad so we're not thugs we're not gangs it's not tough like, but we were more comfortable because of the situation bro a few months before that, we was we didn't have a seatbelt on. They police pulled a pulled a gun on us. Let me explain that story. We didn't have. We were playing to us. We were playing a seven on seven football game. You can't have pockets, so we couldn't have it in. So we, we had to put our IDs in a bag. Police put us over. My boy didn't have his seatbelt on. Kid created play. Y'all see him? He didn't have his seatbelt on. But basically, what happened was he said, "Get his ID." I told the police twice. I made sure I told him twice. Because what's more emotion to me? I said, hey, the ID in the bag. He said, okay, get that idea. I'm like, I'm just making sure you know the ID is in his bag. I said it twice. This Now, by the way, this is a campus officer. Well, this is not a campus officer. He a police officer, but he had worked for Hattiesburg, but he's behind the campus. So the fine going to be $5 for a seatbelt ticket, right? Because it's on campus. It's going to be $5 for a seatbelt ticket. He got the bag. He put a gun on him and said, put the hell gun. He said, put your hand on the board, right? Base, right? Then he asked for my ID. It's basically him trying to catch me and say I was doing drugs, but I didn't have no record because I don't have a record. He basically trying to get an easy cop out and trying to get something because why not? And then later on, a few months later, some of my friends, they got they placed weed on them and stuff. That's, that's how crooked the police is missed. Now, clarify. All police are not bad cops. I know I've seen a lot call people out. But this little code y'all got make people believe all y'all horrible and y'all, all y'all complicit. I saw the Minnesota police chief literally say yesterday, if you didn't speak out, you were complicit. That's a great step, by the way. That's why that's a great step. I saw police chief in a bunch of states actually join the protest. I seen one put Black Lives Matter shirt on. That's progress. Now, that's why. I just gave y'all a bunch of answers to why. Again, why? Um, what else I saw? I, I spoke on love. I spoke on why all lives matter is offensive to black people. I spoke on all Latina brethren, everything. I spoke on I spoke on pretty much everything I want to speak on on why. Now let me get to certain cases that people might not understand. Any more if you have any more wires, we can answer them in the comments below. What other wire? Why does this... Again, I told you why this... I want to just go over those. Just to, I just want to emphasize why. This is what I'm saying is over and over again. The knee on the neck is like a metaphor for how black people have been feeling for years. In the ghetto and all that stuff. Being a struggle. Not knowing to get out. I know... Bro... Kids in Chicago told me, literally told me, that they had no hope and they going to die in the hood. Why? Because ain't nothing else for me. If I ain't the smartest or a great athlete, I die. That's the that's the trap they are, they are they feeling right now. That's the trap that the hood sets you in. That's why everybody say get out the mud. It's like... The, the trap that you're in, that like I can't get out, and everybody's trying to pull me down, and I'm in this cesspool. In the video, in, the, in my other videos on the ZMA channel, I tell you how people keep trying to pull you down. Why? Because they feel like they can't get out, and if they can hold you, and maybe you get out and they hang, drag it on you, usually they holding you down, but they think if I hold on to you, that you get, and then when I can't hold on to you no more because you trying to get out, even though you, you might reach a rope down. They pull you down because they're like, yo, if I can't get out, you can't get out. And that's the trap people feel in right now. But, and then I'm going to tell you why a bunch of other stuff going on. It's been a lot of peaceful protests that you don't see. 
on the news. Why? Because peaceful protests bore into the news. It doesn't get raised. If I just showed the 100 peaceful protests versus the five ones that set on fire, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to get viewed. So let's go to Atlanta. Let's go to Minnesota. They didn't even show Minnesota much of that. Let's go. Well, besides when they talked to the family and the police chief said that, which was, which was amazing by the way. Let's show Atlanta. Let's show Seattle. Let's show LA. The one that's. Let's not show Florida. Let's not show Jackson, Mississippi, which had a peaceful. One. Let's not show peaceful on the coast. Let's not show peaceful protests in Petal when they in the man yard. Let's not show peaceful protests. In South Carolina, I saw not with some in North Carolina. I saw let's not show peaceful protest overseas, except for the London one. We gonna show that one because it got a little ride. That's basically what it is. And by the way, there's people in this protest that's not for us. By the way, I seen allegedly undercover cops, which one was identified as other cop breaking windows out because one dude knew who the cop was because he got arrested by him. I've seen maybe in Tifka people come out there and. I've been seeing a lot of protests are stopping them now because when the protest is peaceful, you're not breaking concrete and you're not throwing rocks through windows when it's peaceful. i seen John Jones stop somebody. It's not they not Black Lives Matter at all, by the way. I guess a whole bunch of group of people trying to make this about a political war. Make it about... Tr- Bro, black people don't care about none of this politics right now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's not about liberal conservative values. It's about human rights. It's not about your political agenda. It's not about your left or your right. And I see y'all trying to hijack it in ways to make it an issue. It's not. That's why I don't even want to mention Antifa that much. That's why I don't want to mention white supremacy. It's not about that. It's about human right to live and to simply, simply put. Have the same rights as everybody else. A fight we've been having for 400 years. We want, yeah, we want good jobs. And that, a lot of this might be built on that too. What, 40 million people out of job? No one has money. $1,200 stimulus check. That's all people got. They've been inside for two months. I hope I did this in a way that future generation understand why this is important. Why I won't denounce rats. And I'm the most peaceful guy you ever seen in your life. I'm the nicest person you ever met. And I'm not for any violence or hurting people. But in my good conscience, I can't denounce a rat. I can't. Except for by the people that just want it for their political reasons. I can denounce y'all. And I seen a lot of things I don't like going on other places, but it ain't the place for that. Because this video is about George Floyd and why he's probably going to be one of the most important figures in the world, in the history of the world at this point. This year will be documented, and I had to document why and try to get you to understand why this year is like a shift. I don't know what the shift is, but this year is a year of the shift. It might be great for you. It might be bad for you. It might be amazing, but it's a shift. And it's a change. 2020 is the year of change. I hope it's good. I hope it's blessed for the ones who love and do anyone out here. I'm here taking care of my mom. I've been doing it for a year, man. And I want y'all to be safe. I want to... I want y'all to know I love y'all, man. Be safe. Take necessary risks. Don't take unnecessary risks. Be aware that people that's not for you are trying to call something against you. So be safe. Be a, Also be aware that what we doing now will change the world in some way. Once you... In the words of Martin Luther King, since this is the voice of the unheard, rats are the voice of the unheard. We'll see. And I know a lot of it. I'm pretty sure races are gone from this video because they've been 
so to the, to the good people that stayed through this and, and try to get understand understand why and I and I really do love you man and I wish you all well because if you stay on this video you probably wanted to understand why that means you're not you probably want to understand why if you still need to be on. And this is for a documentation of the future, too. This is why these events went on. This is the ultimate reason why the man name is George Floyd. Remember him. Very important figure in the world. This man's death, unfortunately, was the catalyst for change. I never wish change was cause of death. I wish we could just be civil. And talk. But it seems like we can't. Because... People won't listen. And then they kill us and then this happens. I love you. And that's all I, that's all I want to end. I'm gonna end it with I love you. And Black Lives Matter, my people. All lives do matter. But for today, just like Black Lives Matter. Just let that line matter. I love you.